Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about University of Colorado at Boulder. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. Also, subscribers can comment below which university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that's aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total 5 application requirements in CU Boulder. First, an online application that cost around $80. Second, 3 letter of recommendation. Third, unofficial transcripts. Fourth, a statement of purpose. And fifth, English language proficiency test that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. Minimum English uh, score requirements are as follows. Duolingo 120, TOEFL 83 and IELTS 7. The University of Colorado has an acceptance rate of 79%, representing a lightly selective admission policy. Average profile score for a computer science admit are as follows. GRE 318, TOEFL 103 and IELTS 7. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credits. This can take at least 18 months or 4 semesters. Total tuition fees to complete this 18 months of course for an in-state student would be around $28,230 and for an out-of-state or international student, this, it would be around $62,700. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus and service fees which may cost around $3,000 more. One thing to note here is that this, this is just a rough estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked the video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options. So many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus campus housing options. The average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $1,900 and go up to $2,500. And the average rent for per person is around $900 to $1,200 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $140 to $160 per person. You can also join our special Facebook housing group for University of Colorado and connect with other international students. The link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about transportation. Students can use campus shuttle or discounted public transit bus using the student ID for off-campus transportation. The nearest international airport would be Denver International Airport, which is around 40 miles from the university. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. CE Boulder has an online job portal for on-campus job applications. You can apply directly in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. International students can work 20 hours per week during fall and spring semesters and over 20 hours during vacation periods. Average pay at this university could be around $12 to $16 per hour. Certainly, there are some pros and cons of pursuing a master's degree at CU Boulder. Some of the pros for an interested student are as follows. First, reputation and rankings. The University of Colorado at Boulder is a highly regarded for its academic excellence and research contributions. It is consistently ranked among the top public universities in the United States, particularly in the fields such as engineering, environmental science, aerospace, and computer science. Second, research opportunities. CE Boulder is a major research institution with a strong emphasis on innovation and discovery. Graduate students have access to state-of-the-art facilities, cutting-edge laboratories, and renowned faculty members 
providing ample opportunities for research collaboration and hands-on learning experiences. Third, beautiful campus and location. Situated at the foothills of Rocky Mountains, CU Boulder boasts a beautiful campus surrounded by stunning natural scenery. The location offers abundant outdoor rec recreational opportunities, such as hiking, skiing, and biking, contributing to high quality of life for students. But on the other hand, there are some cons of two. They are as follows. First, cost of living. Boulder has a relatively high cost of living compared to other cities in Colorado. Housing, groceries, transportation, and other expenses can be expensive especially for students on a limited budget. Second, tuition cost. CU Boulder's tuition rates are high compared to other public research unit universities. It is essential for students to budget carefully and explore financial aid options to minimize student loan debt. Third, competitive admissions. Admission to certain master's program at CU Boulder can be highly competitive, particularly for programs with limited enrollment capacity or high demand. Applicants must demonstrate strong academic credentials and relevant experience and a compelling statement of purpose to be considered for admissions. Overall, the University of Colorado at Boulder offers a prestigious and academically rigorous environment for graduate students with ample research opportunities. A beautiful campus location and a diverse range of academic and programs are some of the pros of this university too. However, students should carefully consider factors such as cost of living, tuition cost, competitiveness of admission, weather, and campus culture when evaluating CU Boulder for master's degree. Remember that individual experiences can vary, so it's a good idea to reach out to current students or alumni to get a more detailed understanding of what to ex expect in this university. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.